Hello Aquarius, this is G1 Writer with G1 Insights. We are providing you with your career, your life, love, and overall energy for the month of October 2018. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your overall energy and your love. Oh Aquarius, I see a lot of focus. <laughs> I see a lot of focused energy here, okay? So this is interesting. I just dealt your cards. I didn't really quite understand why you had got the heart card, though. Who's trying to overcome a broken heart? You might actually get what you asked for this season. And so, and I feel like this broken heart really could come from friends, family, people that you may have felt like have let, let you down. People that may have betrayed you, who may have lied to you, have crossed you. Either way, Aquarius, you are being guided to look into your third eye, okay? So your third eye is literally, like, right here in the fourth center, okay? Right between your eyebrows, that little spot right there where your unibrow would be. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that really good. Let me try to... The glare is on the card. So, this is Archangel Shamuel. And he is highly connected with the third chakra. Dela, this is not your third eye. I'm sorry. This is your third chakra. <laughs> so, your third chakra is your solar plexus. Dear love, that is your solar plexus. So, that is really about that gut feeling, okay? Intuitive energy. Intuition. Um... This is following your spirit, okay? Trusting that little voice that you keep hearing. Trusting that guidance, okay? So, dear love, overall, this is what's going on for you. When it comes to, like, your career or any type of decisions that you will be needing to make this season, you have a lot going on, my friend, okay? And I'm talking about everything. When it comes to your overall energy, it's like you are literally being guided to really focus on your gut, following your instinct, going according to the plan, not allowing nobody to sidetrack you, okay? This energy is very, very strong, okay? And so your third chakra is literally like the center, the center of everything, basically. It is the middle, the middle ground, okay? The center of your life force energy. So your solar plexus is, like I said, I can't really explain it better than just saying it's all intuitive, really, okay? It's like you are dealing with or have been dealing with some issues that revolve around a lot of different emotions. So, you know, when you think about your solar plexus, that's what you want to think about, your emotions, you know, um, that, that greater need for something. This is also about your personal energy. This can indicate some type of um, increase in something, um, increase in your vitality, feeling better, no more feeling drained and exhausted and overwhelmed and tired and bored, no more of that. This is increased enthusiasm, okay? It's either here now or it's on the way, okay? So I love the solar plexus. It's very, very tense. It's literally, you know, we look to our solar plexus to help us rise, you know? If you notice, I have my yellow hair because that's what it represents, my solar plexus. See, I have my yellow candle burning. Because that's what that represents. It's going to help me raise my vibration, okay? So that is what I think about when I think of the solar plexus, okay? This is a really good time. You know, I see patience here for you. But this is a really, really good time to move forward with any type of projects or anything that you have had on your mind for a while now. Um, we do have Venus going retrograde the very beginning of October. We're going to be still dealing with some of that full moon and Aries energy, which really wasn't that bad if you ask me. But we will be dealing with that Venus retrograde in Scorpio. And Venus retrograde in Scorpio is really going to allow all of us to go deep within, okay? 
deep within to our subconscious. What are we really craving for? What do we really desire? And so that is why I feel like you will be extra ambitious, extra motivated, ready to take over the world. You know, I just see you wanting to do so much more this season. And by the way, I just feel like because overall you just hate the heat. Like you feel better when it is fall and when it is winter like you just thrive in that season dear love so get ready because your life is literally about to just take off okay you have had a very um emotional time recently and that's probably why the heart um breaking heart came out broken heart i mean so overall your reading is just basically a lot about healing moving forward putting the past behind you having patience you know, um, gaining resources to get to where you are to, or where you are trying to go. Either way, like I said, this is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Whatever those desires were, move forward. No more worrying about the past, okay? Your life force is vibrating with power and your soul is literally calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner, okay? Like I said, your energy to me is so like, I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm focused. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> like, that is the overall energy that I felt looking at your cards. It's just, I'm focused on being in love. I'm focused on living my life. I'm focused on making my money. I'm focused on just doing what I need to do, studying, going back to school. Like, I don't have time for that type of energy. Like, I just feel like you are focused, okay? So, when your third chakra is good, you will know because this is the type of things that can happen. You will feel healthy. Like I said, vitality is huge when your third chakra is activated. You will feel very, very good. Like you will feel healthy, ready to run, ready to live your best life. So you will be in a more healthy state. You're not depressed. You're not stressing over small things. So you have to let yourself know that you radiate a bright and vibrant life force energy. You have to literally fill yourself with that type of energy. Tell yourself that. I am not depressed. I am raising my vibration, okay? I feel excitement for all that I do, okay? There is no time to be sad and depressed. We don't have time for that this season. This is not the time to be upset or angry or worried. This is the time to manifest, dear love. Look at this. Look how beautiful the beautiful the patience card is. Oh my god, that really is beautiful. It's like she has a clock in her hand too. So basically, this could be you guys literally have been waiting, waiting and waiting. And this is your season to break out, Aquarius. Like I said, dear love, you you thrive in the fall season. You thrive in the winter seasons. Okay? You thrive because you're not too aggravated by the heat. It's not draining you or making you sweat and aggravated and frustrated. <laughs> so you tend to thrive more around holiday seasons where you can be with your friends and your loved ones and you can travel and have a good moment. That is when you thrive the most. Being surrounded by people that are saying, hey, come home, you know, come to my house, come visit for a while. Like that is where you thrive the most, okay? So, and the funny thing is, I think this card does represent the winter time. That's the funny part. But this is a peaceful presence. This is happiness. This is letting go of desperation. Okay, this is, you know what? I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to let it come to me. That is what that is telling me. Okay, I'm not going to cry over it anymore. I'm just going to allow it to happen. You know, but this is really time for you to let go of what no longer serve you, release the old urgency, and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. This is telling you to relax, dear love, to let go of the single-minded desperation that has been driving you crazy. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many other potential solutions coming your way. 
Let go of the anxiety. Be flexible. Be patient. Open and creative. Do what you love. Choose. Choose this day while you're watching this video to be peaceful, to live an abundant life full of joy. Okay? This universe has more options that you may be aware of, but you're not utilizing your options. Quiet your mind. Stop overthinking. Broaden your perspective. And allow the universe to bless you, dear love. Because you don't have time to keep crying over this particular situation. There's, there's no, no room for that this season. Like I said, this is literally your season. And you have to believe that, dear love. You know, it's not going to come to you when you're stressing and when you're crying over spilled milk. It's not going to come to you that way. Blessings come your way when you just let it go. When you stop stressing and obsessing over the whole idea. Have balance. Look at this. Patience. Don't drive yourself crazy. It's happening for you, dear love. Go deep within. Raise your vibration. Stop focusing on this broken heart. You are healing yourself. You are healing your family issues. You are healing that, that relationship or anything that has been simply draining your energy. You are washing yourself clean. Okay? And so that is really good. This is really like a wake-up call for you. Okay? This is all about balance and patience and justice and harmony. This is literally finally having balance with yourself, with your situations in life. You may even have to, for some of you, you may feel like you have to confront some type of important legal issues. You may have to deal with paperwork of some kind, or you may feel compelled to have to sign some type of contracts. With Venus going retrograde, I'm not surprised if people pop up with a whole bunch of paperwork. So be very cautious, you know, and mindful. I mean, Venus retrograde is not like Mercury retrograde. It's more about our social affairs, okay? So it's all about what we enjoy, what we like to invest in, what we would like to invest in. Um, and this could be for you anything. It could be any any type of your desires that you may feel a need to um, invest in. So, you know, be mindful. Try not to be too impulsive when it comes to your budget, when it comes to spending money, when it comes to selling something. Be very cautious, dear love. This may even be simply, um, because this is the seven of forces, so... This could also be about direct attention to some type of legal action regarding a property, a home, a car, inheritance, maybe work-related issues, or work contracts, custody. This could be engagement or divorce. For each and every one of you, of course, this energy is going to play out different because this is a general reading. But be patient, my love. Be very, very patient, okay? You see that clock in the middle? Be very, very patient. Your archangels are not going to mislead you. Be very patient. So justice is here for you. It's working out. Something that you have been asking for is about to come into fruition, dear love, because it's like you want you are in the process of healing. You're working through your troubles. And so you're not in a position right now where you're struggling constantly. So with that being said, Justice is balance in society. But justice is not limited, strictly just a court or a contract situation. Justice and reciprocity are energetic, okay? So that energy that you put forth now will return to you eventually in the future somehow, maybe next week, next month, a year from now. But, dear love, you have to, huh, it's like you just going to have to remember that your energy production is up to you. Continue to be aware of your thoughts, but don't overthink the process. So be aware of your thoughts and your actions, but you have to have balance. So with that being said, speaking of balance, we have that new moon in Libra coming up on October 9th as well. And you want to make sure that you are at your best, okay? You want to put forth your best. You want to dress well, speak well. You want to present your best 
yourself, okay? It is time for you to set things right again. So whatever that was unbalanced, whatever was set back, things are about to unfold. It's about to come into fruition, okay? And that is what I love about this whole Libra new moon because it allows us to have a fresh new start. So just as Venus go retrograde and everybody's going crazy, super emotional for no fucking reason, you may even be feeling a bit emotional, but your emotions are not stopping you this season. Your emotions are guiding you. So that's a good thing. That means that you're, you have learned from the past. You have learned that, you know what, I need to get myself together. I mean, look at this. You even got the on track card, okay? So, but it also came out in reverse. And so what that means is that there's definitely some work that needs to be done, dear love, okay? But you have to believe that it's going to happen. You can't just give up just because it didn't happen within the first six days or it didn't happen right at the moment that you needed it to happen. You have to stop being so impulsive, dear love. Even in love, I mean, look at this, worth waiting for. You have a lot of cards here talking about patience. So with this with this card coming out, this is on track, okay? Look at this man. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but he's wondering if he's on the right track or not. If he has his paper in his hand, he's looking around, he's wondering, hmm, I wonder if this is the right way. You know? And so you are on the right track, dear love, okay? You may not felt or you may not have felt like you have been on the right track. And some of you haven't. Some of you, you know, some of you are saying, you know what, I need to get myself together. But I feel like ambitious ambition is returning and so is your motivation. But I do feel like a lot of you are just waiting for the perfect time. And waiting for the perfect time may have sabotaged a lot of things. You have to get over you know, like I said, you can be aware of your thoughts, but don't overthink the process. Everything is working out for you, okay? But this is literally about you guys. You're waiting too much. You're waiting and waiting and waiting. So, yes, have patience with situations that may have unfolded that you were not too proud about, that you were not excited about, right? But a lot of you, when it came to living your life and living your dreams and doing things that you love to do, you guys have been pretty much procrastinating a lot. A lot of you are having trouble taking action in a certain direction because of confusion, indecision, not being certain if this is what you really want to do, not having clarity on what you need to do. Don't worry that your life's journey will be delayed forever, dear love. It will not. With your determination, you can make the decisions to get back on track again. Just imagine yourself, you know, just taking a step back. Just take a step back, breathe. So you can take a step back and wait. And just begin to prepare for your energy, for your journey, to prepare for your life to just take over. So you don't have to be impulsive or being hesitant because some of you are being like too impulsive. And then some of you are not being impulsive enough. <laughs> so some of you are not even trying. It's like you just gave up and just said, fuck life. You know, and then some of you are saying, you know what, maybe I'm doing too much. Maybe I need to just slow down and rethink this whole process. Take a deep breath. Feel that you're back on track. Feel that clarity is coming to you. Let that energy come to you and feel you. And when you feel ready, and when you feel like you're ready to just soar, dear love, you do that. Follow your sacral chakra, dear love. I mean, your solar plexus. Sorry, I keep messing this chakra up. <laughs> Follow your solar plexus. That intuitive energy is going to guide you when it is time to just go for it. Okay, so that is definitely what you're being encouraged to do, dear love. Whether this is going to family counseling, whether this is working out some type of legal issues, whether this is solving some type of case or getting justice for someone or advocating for someone. A lot of you are really in a position right now where you are 
really, really stepping up to the plate and standing up for something or a particular situation where you felt like you were not dealt the right set of cards, you know? So when I look at this card, it reminds me of people that is gaining knowledge and wisdom. This is all about you doing your research. Maybe you don't have enough knowledge. Maybe you are not thinking as clearly. Maybe you feel like you need to go back and, you know, ask spirit for some resources or some guidance or just some type of, I just feel like some type of help, whether it be from friends, family. This could even be from a spiritual guidance from people that, you know, that spiritual leaders, you know, motivational speakers. Go on YouTube. There's a lot of them. <laughs> okay. But this is definitely about being the master of research. Search for truth. Live your truth. Search for healing. Live like you are already healed. Perform your life with a logical mind. Have concrete knowledge of a situation before you just go off the hand and flip and get angry and get upset. Focus on your spiritual communication. So if you have been thinking about pursuing some type of project in any of those areas, whether it's about science or truth or healing, yoga, dancing, some type of art-related situation, get into it. So if you are working on a project that requires research or a, you know, any dealing with a particular topic or something that you really want to study, a strong academic approach and attention to detail is full steam ahead, okay? It's time to open your energy. If you have a job that involves any type of evidence, detection, drawing conclusions from that discovery, these type of jobs include scientific research, mediumship, forensic activity, the law, medical testing, and more. A lot of you are very curious about the unknown. Like, you love mysteries. You remind me a lot of Scorpio. You love mysteries. You love just knowing what the hell make people tick, right? So get into that energy, dear love. Be a psychologist. Go to school to be a psychologist. Be a therapist. Practice Art of all forms, music, writing, teaching, you know, anything that can help your mind expand, anything that can help you grow, okay? Either way, this is the perfect time to bring a logical approach to all of your pursuits, dear love. So again, this is really about gaining wisdom, going deep within yourself for that wisdom, refocusing on something that you really, really love, okay? And I feel like that energy is really for a lot of us, okay? Even, like, like I said, even when it comes to love for you, I do see engagement, okay? Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, you may have been seeing somebody, you may decide to take this relationship up a notch. This could be marriage, like I said, some of you are kind of, you know, getting divorced or getting engaged or getting married, signing some type of contract, a lease, maybe moving in with somebody. Huh. Because remember, the Seven of Forces is about that. It's all about paperwork. Look at that paper on the desk. It's all about paper, baby. So somebody is either signing some type of contract or something regarding to a living situation, um, a partnership, a relationship, something dealing with connection or uni unity, okay? Now, I also see healing family issues here, so it kind of makes perfect sense why you dig your broken heart, because a lot of you are actually taking the time out to heal these issues, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents for not loving you the way that you thought that you deserved love, if they were not totally there to fully support you, if you felt like they have abandoned you or left you stranded, if you feel like your parents have misguided you and led you to the wrong path, it's okay to forgive and to move on. And you have to focus on that forgiveness or you would not be able to fully give love to someone else when you are still hurting and 
you know, still got all these different emotions stirred up. Dear love, you got to refocus your energy this season. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life situation, dear love. So, like I said, for a lot of you, this is all about balance, communication, being patient with yourself in the situation as it unfolds, okay? So, let's do your overall advice. Your overall advice, overall advice for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Aquarius, your energy was very tense this season. Very strong, intense. I feel so like, like I said, the word that I came up with was focus. <laughs> I just feel so like serious, you know, like you are laying down the law. You are like slamming the book, you know, <laughs> slamming the book at people. Like, listen, I had enough. I'm done. <laughs> Woo. Yes. Look at that, if you believe. I love that. Yes, absolutely. It's going to happen to your life, but you got to believe, okay? Like I said, listen to your third chakra, dear love, your solar plexus, okay? Pay attention to that. Your solar plexus will not mislead you, dear love. If you need help activating or reactivating your third chakra, dear love, I can most certainly assist you. I'm not afraid to. I love my chakras. And speaking of chakras, dear love, if you guys like my bracelets that I am wearing today, see? I got my third eye. No, I got all my seven chakras here. Look at this one, very solid. Okay, so guys, I have been hand making these for a while. And just like you, I got sidetracked <laughs> and I stopped. And then I was buying them. And then I said, you know what? Let me just go back to recreating them again. So guys, I have these chakra bracelets. I actually make them myself. And these are made out of love. And I love my chakras because when I am feeling down and depressed, the way I manifest, I use my chakras to guide me, to help me. I like to open up my chakras, to activate my chakras. And you will know, like I said, you will know when your chakras are out of balance because something will be off. Either you will not feel good, you may be feeling sick. You you know, and I always talk about how chakras are not always, I mean, any type of issues is not always medically related. It's not always about being depressed. It's not always about um, going to the doctor because you're ill. It has nothing to do with that. A lot of these issues are really just simply because your chakras are not balanced, dear love. And the more you open up your chakras, the better you will feel. It's nothing like opening your third eye chakra. Oh, my God. Your third eye chakra and your crown chakra. For a lot of you, you're already spiritual, so you already know all about these things, okay? But I'm talking to my Aquarius people that are new to all of this stuff and they may not know. Man, your third eye chakra being open is like a gift. <laughs> it is simply a gift. Like you are able to really see into your own soul and to be able to determine, okay, how can I move forward with this situation? How can I be more grounded? How can I be more stable minded? And you Aquarius, for you, I think if I'm not mistaken, your root chakra is for you. Like your root chakra is connected to you in a lot of ways. So for you, you may want to study your root chakra and now that I have done your reading, apparently your third chakra as well. Because if your root chakra is not balanced, honey, you just a complete mess. If your sacral chakra is unbalanced, you need to go back. I mean, your solar plexus is messed up, then you need to go back to your sacral chakra. Because this is all about that gut feeling, your emotions. Why do you feel so stuck? You know, you have to get back into that. But anyway, if you like these bracelets, dear love, like I said, they are handcrafted by me. Go to my website, g1insights.org. You can, if you want to just simply donate, that's fine. You don't only want a bracelet or read it and you just feel generous. That's fine. You can do that as well. But these are listed here on my website. And they're only like $10 anyway. So feel free to get one if you like, okay? Love you guys. Bye.